uh, in the comments on one of the previous videos, somebody had mentioned they were having ejection problems with the 39A. Now, uh, these are pretty straightforward. There isn't a lot that can be involved. This is the bolt. You know, just slide back and out. You know, these come apart very easily. But, okay, this is the actual extractor that pulls the cartridge back out of the chamber. So that holds it, the little clip. Now, he said he had head spacing problems and, and uh, some other stuff that was a little confusing, but the one thing that could happen, this is just a wire flat metal spring. You know, it isn't uh, nothing real impressive. Now, if you were to actually somehow boogle this up so that this bent over the bolt face, I could see you could have problems chambering or you could actually have them go off when you tried to close the lever. You know, that's that's possible. But now he said he replaced this part. You know, just this bent spring. Now the other part, this is the extractor, you know, this part here. Just simply pulls them back, holds them in place on the face of the bolt to pull them back. Then when it gets back so far, it hits this, which is the actual ejector. And that's got a spring underneath it. Now this one is held in place by these two screws on the back side. That's not the normal Marlin way of doing things. What I've got here is a bolt from my 22 Magnum. And it'll be easier to show you on this. It's a little bit bigger. And they've got a much heavier, you know, it's a stamped piece. But that extractor holds that in place. Then when the bolt comes back, the ejector is right, right along here. And it catches it and kicks it out. Now this is the normal Marlin ejector style. And it is worth mentioning that you know, on most of the Marlin guns, if you pull a bolt out, the bolt is the only thing holding this ejector in and it will fall out. You know, I have scrambled finding this one and I have to be careful so I don't lose it again because it's easy to drop that in the dirt or something and it disappears. But if you replaced that extractor and it isn't bent and it's actually holding, then check to make sure that you have spring on the ejector. You can buy a new spring very easily. Uh, they're like 10 bucks or under. You can buy the whole ejector if this should be damaged the whole thing is available for like 20. You know, you can get them on eBay and get them midway. They're not hard to find. But that's really the only places it could be. But this is one of them cases where the terminology matters, you know, because he was kind of confusing the extractor and the ejector. But this is the ejector. That little springy thing in here is the extractor. But it isn't real heavy, you know, but it doesn't have to be, it's just a 22. But that's where the 22 Magnum, you know, it's a much heavier one. But it's a similar design of bolt. It's just that they actually have their ejector pinned into place. But they're available, and that's about all it can be. There ain't much else to go wrong with them. <laughs>